the conditions near perfect and at stake today three points which could mean so much to both clubs Tony Coton one of three different goalkeepers tried by Birmingham City this season and the high kick aimed at Harford and that's a tactic we're likely to see a lot of from Birmingham today at that time Liverpool's Phil Thompson met the ball here's Kirbishley and Hawker took his eye off it for a vital moment throw in Today's referee, Mike Dimbleby of Stevenage in Hertfordshire. Neil Dalgleish. Kerbishley for Birmingham, though. And Dillon. Harford's layoff, another good one to Langan. Aimed in high towards Harford, and Evans is with him. A good attack by Birmingham City, with Harford very much at the heart of it. And Evans could only lift his shot over. Stevenson's header. And then Hall. Evans flicks it on. Half it in again. And was he pushed by Thompson? I felt he was, and the referee, in fact, agrees. So plenty of Birmingham players around the ball. Tap short for Hawker. What a good save by Grobelar. He must have seen that coming late, and that shot was struck with some venom. The free kick tap short. Hawker hitting it left-footed high towards the top corner, and a fine save by Grobelar. Hawker still forward for the corner, but Grobelar again thwarting him and Harford. Kennedy, Rush, Van den Hoor right behind him, but he still finds Whelan. Rush again for Liverpool. Dalglish, but here's Broadhurst, Evans, and Kerbishley. Thompson doing well so far, though, in his aerial battle with Harford. Broadhurst, the Birmingham skipper, a glorious ball for Van Merlo. Driven in hard and low, defences don't normally like that, but Sunes was in the right place. As indeed was Van den Hoor at the other end, but a mistake by Stevenson has given Liverpool possession again with Whelan. Rush. Well, that was fairly blatant by Dylan and right in front of the referee's eye. Thompson, Neil wide for him. Lee, good return ball. Well, Phil Neil is now out of position and Evans is going into his position and that's not a bad ball to find him either. This is Evans. Just couldn't control it and was unfortunate with the bounce, but still danger. Harford chest it down for Dillon. A good effort again by Birmingham City. This is Thompson. Hansen trying the long through ball for Rush. Thompson. Well, Birmingham just getting men back behind the ball and Liverpool playing patiently, or they were till that moment anyway, till Hansen gave it away. And the game being played at an unusually slow pace or deceptively perhaps we should say Lee for Liverpool finding Dalglish good tackle by Hawker 
And here's Evans. But Liverpool are persistent. Lee did well. Dalglish, good control. He's round Van den Hoek and he finished. Coton made sure that he didn't. Marvellous skills by Dalglish. Back in the position where he's most dangerous up front. Got round the defender beautifully. Accelerated into the space. Hit the ball well. But Coton made a good stop. Curvishly flicked it on. Good interception by Hansen, but here's Hawker for Birmingham. Hansen again. Dalglish just waited for the challenge and then turned and got away from the defender. Here's Whelan. Kennedy, Liverpool forced so often to go back towards their own half. Thompson now. Dalglish. Well, I must say, once or twice in this half, Kenny Dalglish has done some very uncharacteristic things. Broadhurst. Referee waves play on as Lawrenson finds Dalglish. Oh, straight through the legs of Hawker. On to Kennedy. And here's Lee. Dalglish again. Sets it up for Neil. A lovely little ball. Kennedy onside. Really chose the wrong post, perhaps. Still the danger, but now it's gone, as the referee has given Birmingham a free kick. Liverpool so patient and in a tight situation, worked the ball beautifully, and it was played through to Kennedy. He was onside. Instead of perhaps trying to look for the far post, he chose the near post, and that was guarded by Coulton. Hansen getting up with Harford, and it breaks, and that's a fine effort. Dylan on the end of that loose bouncing ball. Knew he had to hit it first time, and really got some power behind that shot, but wide it went. The end of a disappointing first half. Strange, really, with so much at stake, that it was almost like a typical end-of-season first half between two teams in the middle of the table. But perhaps it's because so much is at stake that the football never really flowed, giving an inevitable half-time scoreline of Birmingham City nil, Liverpool nil. Well, Liverpool below their best so far, but as Spurs found out earlier in the week, they can suddenly produce their true form in the second half. Birmingham, though, can be pleased with the way they've frustrated them so far. But Liverpool, as we all know, a team that keep playing for 90 out of 90 minutes. And a good ball by Lee to Lawrenson, who fell, or was he pushed? He was pushed, according to the referee. Lawrenson stumbling as he went on to that through ball from Sammy Lee. And the referee has said free kick to Liverpool. Now, from a very similar position, strangely, at Tottenham on Monday, Kenny Dalglish actually struck the free kick directly into the net. Will there be a repeat performance? The wall looks solid enough from this angle. And Dalglish could only strike the ball straight at it. And here's Kennedy. Well blocked by Van den Hoor. Langen was forced into that clearance. Came off uh, Hawker. And Langen has really done anything that he could be faulted for today. He really has looked sharp. from Harper's mistake and here's Sunes Whelan's made a good run into the inside right position it swung in towards Rush and a very good ball too oh that's superb finishing by Ian Rush and that's goal number 29 Rush who's had a quiet game explodes into life at exactly the right moment a glorious through ball floated over the defence 
Rush sized up the situation in an instant and hammered the ball into the roof of the net. 49 minutes gone and Liverpool score a vital goal. Birmingham City nil, Liverpool won. And Ian Rush having this personal goal-scoring battle almost this season with Southampton's Kevin Keegan is now one goal within Keegan's total. 29 goals in his first full season. And a lovely through ball to, to Whelan. And suddenly Liverpool looking like the quality team we know they are after a disappointing opening. Whelan again. Evans. Touched on to Harford and a good return ball to Evans. He's perhaps overhit that, but Van Merlo chasing all the way. And the rather eccentric skills of Grebel are perfectly demonstrated. Well, you can call it eccentric, but it was also very good. No wonder he's smiling, but he did well then. He came out and headed that, and it needed to be. It was a good clearance down the line as well. Liverpool crowding around Birmingham in midfield and making them difficult for it to get the ball forward. Evans, turn on by Harford, back to Evans, here's Kirbishley. Harford wanted to take it himself. Kennedy's interception. Still danger here, a lot of Birmingham players forward. Langdon tries the shot, and another fine save by Bruce Grobelow. Good effort by David Langdon. Saw the defence retreating, had that shot which was aiming towards the top, and Grobelow for the second time in the game, producing a good fingertip save. Corner, well met then by... Uh, Stevenson, but the header directed wide. And Liverpool about to bring on the man who was a hero just a week ago when he scored two goals against Nottingham Forest. But uh, such is Liverpool's strength in depth. He's number 12 today, but at least he's getting on now in place of Ronnie Whelan, who's had a bit of a disappointing game. Johnston, here's Lawrenson. Here's Dalgleish and Sunes. tackle made it difficult for him and Stevenson's clearance was all wrong Neil intercepts and Johnston is free can he finish here he was very close it was a good tackle in fact by Stevenson who had originally made the mistake he knew that he had to make up for it somehow and as the ball was played to Johnston he did just that because his challenge was enough to send the ball over the bar Dalgleish forward again for Rush to chase Porker dangerously turns it back, and surely Johnston will finish here. Well, that was remarkable. Ian Rush somehow managed to keep the ball in play when it looked odds on going out. The cross went clean across the face of the Birmingham goal, and perhaps if the roles had been reversed and Ian Rush, who's a bigger man, had been on the end of it, there might have been a goal. Hansen did well. Lawrenson got away well and found Johnston. Oh, a good turn. Craig Johnston. Well, well, he did the difficult part so well. Got away from the defender, but the shot was over. Well, you can see the frustration in Craig Johnston's face, but he did so well to turn away from the defender. And as the goalkeeper raced out, he hit his shot over. Turned in by Stevenson, that's dangerous. Whoops, well, Grobelar didn't catch it cleanly, but he caught it, and that's all that matters. Champion, 
Well, some of the Liverpool crowd here shouting champions. That's premature, of course, but this is looking like a very important win for them. Johnston's back header, and it is an important win. Three points, which edges Liverpool a little closer to their 13th league title, and a home defeat, which edges Birmingham a little closer to the bottom three. They've got away games at Leeds and Coventry to come, Birmingham, that is, and they need, in the words of their own manager, another four points. And Ian Rush's goal today, his 29th of the season, has pushed Birmingham deeper into trouble and edged Liverpool towards what many will regard as an inevitable championship. Not a vintage Liverpool display, they did just enough to win though. Birmingham City nil, Liverpool won, a crowd of just over 26,000. A tense tussle there, but not all that exciting for the neutral. I think there's a tendency these days for referees more frequently to penalise players jumping to head. Sometimes it's the man who doesn't challenge for the ball who gets the advantage. That's why I was very pleased to observe just before the only goal of the game, referee Mike Dimbleby ignore the crowd's appeals and wave play on. In the absence of any certainty from this type of incident, not easy to distinguish, surely it's better to let the game flow. You can see Hansen there really stretching his head to try and play it. Birmingham fans thought he was holding Harford down, but Harford never really made an attempt to leave the ground just to back into him. The ref said, I don't see anything bad, let it go. And look what happened as a result of that. The best ball of the game from Souness struck 60 yards straight to its target, a remarkable ball, bearing in mind the uh, lapse in the defensive uh, wall there, and, and an equally brilliant finish, all because a referee let it go on. Four points will now be enough to give Liverpool the title, but their only rival, Zipswich, refused to throw in the towel and stayed two points behind after their 1-0 win at Brighton. There's no change at the top with six of the leading seven teams all winning. The exception, Manchester United, who drew at West Ham.